The next one is uh, interactive uh, user interface, and uh, in this, uh, usually, you uh, after creating some components, and you want to actually associate some actions uh, with that. That will be actually be uh, introduced here, and uh, the interactive UI is actually where users and the gadget or the, 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 the mobile app will have some interaction. And um, uh, click handler is actually the main uh, uh, component in this or, uh, uh, because you have to actually make that component clickable and uh, the click handler will actually take that action and uh, based on that it will actually try to, 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 to show you something. And um, it can be defined in two ways. And uh, in the XML editor, directly you can actually associate, or you can also actually try to use it in Java code. And uh, in Java code, it will be a bit harder, and you have to have some knowledge in that. In XML, a bit easier, but clearly, uh, as a, a software engineer or as a person knowing Android programming, you have to know both. The procedure is actually first create a UI component and it can be a button or an image uh, to interact, assign ID to UI uh, components, them clickable so that it will be actually be uh, executing something. Add methods in the main activity to react the action. It means that a component will be created based on that, it will be uh, you will be actually make it clickable and based on that then some action will be associated with that. I just took one example, assuming that this is your mobile and you have added one button called display. And if a person is clicking display, we assume that display button is clicked. And if you repeat again, then this will be actually displayed on the screen of your mobile app. And if that is one, then how do we do that? And let us actually see first. First, you have to create this button. How do you do? You have to go into the layout and uh, then uh, based on that you have to create one button. As, I, as we have already said, you have to actually define an ID and name it and also you have to add on click uh, 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 action so that whenever it is clicked then clearly it will execute the show toast. Uh, 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 method which will be defined in a different uh, uh, program. This is in the XML. This is actually this is the first procedure what we have already said and this is the second procedure where on click and action and ID will be actually be displayed and finally into the Java you have to define the short toast. Here you said already if a button is clicked then call this method called short toast. The same name has to be appear there, and after on click, you have to actually define a public method, and uh, the return value is void, and uh, based on that you can actually see. Then, at this point, when a person is clicking button, then this has to be displayed. Display button is clicked. As you said, he, as you see here, this has to come, and try to actually check this also. Because this is really important and uh, uh, try to actually have some fun here on changing some of the body. I have another uh, exercise for you and uh, assuming that there is one button uh, on the front and if somebody is clicking this button then there will be an increment from 0 to 1 and if he repeats again then from 1 to 2 and so on and so on and increase by 1. And this can actually be done in a very similar way, but I will actually show you the second method of associating user interface. It means defining uh, interactive user uh, interface. Here you can actually define the text, the, 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 the text in the button, and this button is considered to be this button and increased by one. And this value, this is actually the text value again. ID is defined and here we didn't actually add on click here because we'll be actually be using on the Java code and any different uh, 
here into the the, 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 the Java file, then we have to define uh, three variables here: m count, change val, and ink button. And these are actually supposed to be these two are supposed to be associated with already created uh, component here. And uh, in on create uh, method, then we have to actually add two lines here, very important. And ink button has to be associated with uh, increase value. This is increase value button, uh, which is defined into XML. And the change val has to be also as associated with the text view defined here, display number. And this is actually how to actually define or associate one variable with one component and uh, after doing this then you can actually try to define uh, uh, this uh, statement to actually listen the click and whenever ink button is clicked as it is said as is seen this is ink button ink button is a button whenever this button is clicked and set on click listener and on button is clicked then increase m count by one m count by one and also set the value from already displayed into a different value how you can actually say that change val change val is a text view which is actually on the right side dot set text the text value has to be set the string value of m count m count has already increased by one whatever the value is and that value will be actually be discussed uh, uh, displayed it means that whenever some button is clicked ink button is clicked then there will be an increment by one and that will be actually be displayed and check it out and this is really important and uh, clearly you can actually have some fun on that and add some more if you like but this is another one one final uh, uh, exercise in this and this is from the literature I'm actually already displaying and here we have the complete uh, 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 graphic user interface and uh, here the title and here we have one button here another button here one display and this is to display something it means for example toast something or this is actually to count whenever I click this then it will go to two click to three and so on try to design and associate also some actions with that this is actually an interactive UI means whenever somebody is clicking here then this will increase whenever somebody is clicking here then some display will come and another example is this one which is very similar to the previous discussion what we have and uh, I have added only one thing one is this is increase value we have already done it in one or two ways but I put reset value I didn't even indicate any coding here because you have to know that a reset is reset is actually put something zero and whenever I click this it has to reset but whenever I click that then this number will increase if I click three times then this will actually go up to three but then after if I click the reset value then it has to go zero try it, try it and uh, this is also another exercise for you